camera on right now? No, it's not on. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Because it looks on. If you look at it right there, it looks on. No, it's not on. This is on. Do you see this light it's, right here? It's not on. Are you gonna? I, I need you to do a good job on I'm, this. I'm, I'm gonna do a fine job. I see, this is important to me, and I just, okay. I just want you to. I'm know. gonna be fine. Are you sure it's not it's, on? The, do you hear that? No, it's, no I hear it's the traffic. It's fine. It's not on. Is it on now? Can you see me? Dude, we're gonna follow through on this. Uh, so this is uh, our wedding video for Max and Teresa's wedding. Um, we're outside a tuxedo shop right now. We're gonna try on some tuxes and we're just waiting for Max and the guys to show up. Is your mom mad at me, by the way? She's acting really weird to me when I picked you up. She just seemed really weird. I don't like, it makes me uncomfortable when she looks at me like that. You know, I apologize as much as I can apologize. People make mistakes. Dude, this is it. This is them. This is them. What is up? What's going on? There he is. Hello. There he is. Yeah. Early, early as ever. How are you doing, man? What's up? How are you? It's Max. Huh? How's it going, man? I'm doing it. Once I get my tux, I gotta do it. You know my cousin Mark? Oh yeah, yeah. This is the up? man. This is the man. What's going so, on? Uh, What's the deal? Mark goes to USC Film School, and this, oh, yeah. and he's got to do a thesis. And so, as my gift to you. I thought that we could make a movie about your wedding, man. Nice. Nice. Hey, man. Solid, like right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let's try on some touches, huh? All right. All right. Come on. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. The Angeli party? Uh, Angeli. Yeah. Angeli, yes. Okay, yeah, I've been right. waiting, actually, for about 15 minutes for you guys, so. Oh, I'm sorry. He was, uh, This playing. guy talked to me. He's trying to get my soy frappuccino. I can't function, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. just we're really busy. Yeah, I have a lot of appointments. It's kind of empty in here, actually. Well, the phone calls and orders to put in the computer, so I'm just really busy. I'm That's fine. fine. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. fine. Um, okay, so do you have any uh, last-minute ideas that you want suit, to go suit. over? Yes, and hats. We were talking about hats. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, Teresa sent me with some hats. Uh, Teresa, yes, we spoke, and actually she did say specifically no hats. I'm sorry, she, she called here? I thought I just said that. Yeah, she called, and we had a lovely talk, and picked out some tuxes for you guys. So if you just want to look through the ones that we decided on. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. What you decided on. Yes. So. Okay, right here. This is the um, Kentucky Gentleman. Mm -hmm. like that, that comes in a bright, a bright red. Uh, no. Right or purple? Remember no. we were going to talk about maybe like a plum, like purple. a really like bright plum. Well, we have, we have, we have a, a gray color scheme for the wedding to match gray? things. Gray? Yeah. Dude, you hate gray. We have like tablecloths and yeah, napkins but, already. So. Yeah, well, all our tuxes only come in, in gray, black, and dark black. Okay. What? What's the difference between black and dark black? Oh, uh, the dark black is darker than black. Is there anything between? Yes. There's a medium black, but we don't carry that anymore because people didn't rent those. Um, the second one here, this is the El Señor. The El Señor comes with a Mexican zipper. Um, I think we wanted to keep it American, though. Um, okay, well then you'll like this one. Uh, this is the Abraham Lincoln. I like that. Yes, it's adorned with wooden buttons. They're 100% chestnut. I've actually set some aside that Teresa and I talked about, so if, oh, okay. if you want to just meet me over here, oh, we can yeah. just okay. try those on, okay? Great. What's happening here? Wow. Yeah, no. A lot of notes in the tux. Was I? I'm sorry. Did we talk about hats? Was I? Did we talked talk? about hats for a long time. You know, we we talked about not having a traditional wedding because it's boring and everybody does. We wanted to kind of break out. We thought we thought maybe some color. We thought maybe some some hats. A hat. You put a hat on, something happens to you. We had some ideas before we came here about what we were going to do, but uh, upon arrival, as it were, I guess there were some. New ideas uh, phoned in, you know. Max feels like Teresa is the woman, you know, for him. And that's, I, Max is my best friend and I want him to be happy and if he's happy then I'm totally huh? cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the guys are totally behind this 100%. Thank you. There he is. Huh? Traditional, classic looking it's, tuxedo, yeah, really how's that? Standard. Yeah, Could use sharp. some color, but it's fine. It's sharp. Really festive, but... It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, um, serviceable. It looks good, though. You look, you look like a thousand dollars. Well, the wedding will be festive. <laughs> all right, so we'll all have this. Cool, cool. cool. Um, I'm sorry, I, I know I was in there a while, and, uh, I know you have appointments. A lot of things. Yeah, okay. Um, but there was a reason, uh, can I ask you guys to look at something? I don't really know how to explain it, so... Uh, I, I don't know if this is a big deal, but... Uh, can you see that? I felt it a few days ago, and it, it, it sort of irritated, so I was scratching it, and it got bigger. It'll go down, like, if I sleep, it goes down a little bit. 
If I'm reading, I'm not thinking about it, it goes down a little bit. And watch, I can do this. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck is that? What I'm the sorry. fuck is I'm that? Sorry. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal. What but do you it's not a big deal? What is that? Well, it's like, I don't know, but as I itch, it, it goes up. Mm. And when okay, I. Okay, you know what? It, it feels Michael? good. Yes, Amber, what's the problem? Goodness gracious, mother, have mercy. What is that? I don't know, but I can do this. Don't what do that. What the fuck that. is that? I can go back the other way. Holy shit. What did you do to this man? Nothing. I didn't do anything. No, no, you sir, I had this. It's been a few days. I, I think it's stress. If you guys just touch it, because it's not that big of a deal. What? Once you feel it, you can feel it like it's a little muscle. Is it as soft as it looks, man? Because it looks so soft. Jesus. Oh, like... Amber? I'll touch it. You will not touch it. You have to go to the doctor now. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big a deal. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Well, yeah. That's why I asked you. Doctors like know. No, oh, no, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I'm not gonna sleep that off. I can't shower away that, that image, you know? I'll try, but I'm not gonna be able, that's in me now. I am dry, and I'm still a little, a little frightened, still. I, I, I felt a little relieved at first that I showed him the nub, and just to get it out, and then, I don't know, like a, a switch went off when they reacted the way they did. I'm freaking out now. You can tell there's like bones, flesh, and an intelligence inside that. I've made an appointment. He's going to the doctor now to get that taken care of before it turns into something who knows what. Hi, uh, Miss hey. Angeli. Okay, if you'd just like to have a seat, please. The doctor will be with you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm all set. Yeah, you're great. <laughs> Mr. Angeli? Yeah. Come with me. Have a seat right here. All right. How are you today? Uh, I'm all right. Good. I wonder if I could ask. Not right now. I said a quick question. Mm -mm. Okay. Hey. Could I ask a question now? Doctor will be in a minute. Okay. I feel like the more nervous I get, it, the growth accelerates. I'm trying to stay calm, but. Getting a little scared here. Hi there, you must be Max? Yes. I'm, hi, I'm yeah, Dr. Okay. Sherman Jacobs. Hi, hi. I'm a little nervous. Uh, don't be nervous. I've uh, been in practice for about eight years, so oh, okay. you can know what I'm doing here. Okay. So, um, what brings you to me today, Max? Uh, I've had this little uh, bump. It's been getting irritated. It's been growing. And it's right where you're pointing right there? Mm -hmm. Wanna go ahead and lift up your shirt? Let me take a look at that. Mm-hmm. It's right there. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Go ahead and put your shirt back down. When it itches a little bit. Right. Go ahead and put your shirt okay. down. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what you have is a Euclid. It's, um, that's what that nub is called. And it's not that uncommon. A Euclid? That's right. It's, um, it's something that's gonna grow. It's gonna get bigger, but it's nothing to worry about. It's, uh, Going to go from anywhere from six inches to two feet. I've, I've, I've never heard of anything like it. What happens is a lot of people develop a marsupial pouch right in front, just like a kangaroo or a possum. And people, as the Euclid gets longer, they start to tuck it into the pouch so you don't see it. What causes it? Um, the average guy on the street uses about three to four percent of his or her brain. But when you get up into the five percent range of the brain usage and you have euclosomes within the DNA structure, it activates a chemical reaction, which starts that happening. And it's not that uncommon. It happens in about 20% of the population. It's like being left-handed. You know, I have one as I, yeah. Really? I, yeah, I have a Euclid. I've had it for about 13 years. Same. Um, well, but mine's full grown. As I mentioned, they will go up to two feet, and mine's close to that. Can I? 
You know, I, I feel a little funny about that. Um, we got some nurses, I don't want to turn them on. Uh, no, but seriously, I don't, I don't want to take my shirt off because I just don't, I don't feel it's professional. But take my word for it, I've got one. And, and there's a website that you can go to and it shows other people's Euclids. And there is a group called um, uh, Euclids Anonymous. And let, let me give you a brochure. It has that number and a lot more information. It's called Your Euclid and You. I mean, it just answers a lot of the really common questions about Euclids. And uh, I think it's going to make you feel a little bit better about it. Knowledge is usually the, the best bulwark against concern and anxiety, which you're obviously suffering from a little bit right now. I've never heard of this. It's just... uh, well, the one thing I really want you to take away from this, Max, is that everything's fine. You have nothing to worry about. And uh, what I'd like you to do is call me in about two weeks. Let me know how things are going. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on it. But uh, until then, I want you to stop worrying and uh, enjoy your Euclid, all right? Nice Bye. to meet you. We'll be in touch soon. You too. OK, Max, take care. I got that. Doctor talked to me about it. And... I'm just surprised I've never heard of this before. My name is Dr. Sherman Jacobs, and I've been in practice for 13 years. I work almost exclusively with well, Euclids. Psychologically, you... finding out that you, you have a Euclid is probably more difficult to deal with than the systemic changes. But usually the first question is, what is a Euclid? And then the second question is, how do I get rid of it? Um, I will not remove one surgically. We do do surgeries on the Euclid, but not to remove it. Uh, sometimes around the base, there's skin that starts to attach. We need to loosen that up by means of a scalpel. Um, it's, not, it's not a particularly invasive procedure. But without doing that, what you get is a, sort of like um, the middle pole of a tent. It actually pulls the skin and can cause discomfort and bruising, contusions. So what we'll do is we'll loosen it, and then, the, then that Euclid can do what it wants to do, which is go to its full six inches to two feet in length. There we, oh, we have a Euclid. That's beautiful. Happy birthday, little fella. Hello, I am Phineas J. Whippy. I am a doctor of anthropological studies attached to the University of Kansas and the University of Antwerp. For the past 19 years, I've been studying the flesh tail or Euclid. It has become my area of personal uh, expertise as well as a personal obsession of mine. The first time a, a Euclid was uh, mentioned was here in the, the tiny village of Befik. I don't know if you can see that, Befik. Throughout history, people who had manifested their flesh tails were ostracized, and the entire culture had to go underground into, into subcultures. This is a, a Maori fertility statuette. Most of their flesh pockets, most of their nubs were cranial, were on their heads. So they would divine feather headdresses to hide it from other tribes. If they were out being, you know, uh, you know hunting or being uh, hunted, and, and they would have this vestigial appendage kind of flopping about, uh, they would be seen as weaker. Basically, people who have manifested their Euclid have made human civilization. They've, they've made it happen, often hiding it, but we needed these people. Without them, we would still be in the swamps. It was honored in the Mayan culture. It was honored in the Incan cultures. It was honored in the Aztec culture. And somewhere along the way, it, it, it became a stigma, and it was no longer honored. And that is, is wrong. It's just wrong, and we need you know, to fix that. Over the past 10 years, we have discovered a sequence within the DNA that is empirical evidence that defines such people that have manifested their flesh tail or their Euclid. Uh, such people as Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, Galileo, Michelangelo, Pliny the Elder, all of these people proven to have, have manifested their, their Euclid. All of this information leads to the fact that now is the time for people who have manifested their Euclids to expose that to the world and to bring everybody back together. The Aztecs believe that the end of the world will be 2012. I believe that 2012 will be the end of the hidden world. It's nice to know there's other people out there. I'm not alone, at least. At a time like this, it's good to have a partner. I'm glad I have Teresa to help get me through this. Teresa? I'm in here, honey. Oh. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, honey. Mm. So how did it go at the tech shop? Good, did it good. Did go like I planned? Yeah, thanks for calling ahead. That's looks good. I like good, it. Good, good. I like your choices. Good. I'm going to have to change the bridesmaids' dresses again. They are just not elegant enough. No. I thought they were great. No, 
I, I mean, I want them to look more royal. Okay. Um, honey, there's something I have to tell you. Sure. I noticed this thing a few days ago, and I didn't want to talk to you about it till I knew what was going on, but I'm growing a new body part. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, this thing here, it's, uh... <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, kidding. I'm serious. A new body part? Well, I, I noticed it a few days ago, got it checked out today, and I don't know that much about it, but it's something that, that's not dangerous, it's nothing I have to worry about, but I am growing a new body part. Well, what? I mean, um, it can't be that bad. Let me see it. It's kind of bad. Oh. Okay, I know. Oh. I know, I know, but. Oh, that's gross. Well. Can we it, lance it? Can we get rid of it? No, it's a growing piece of tissue, so you can't pop it. It would keep growing. Well, Being, is it dangerous? Is no, it cancerous? No, no. It can actually be a good thing. Well, how big is it going to get? Uh, they said anywhere from six inches to two feet. Mom! Honey, honey, no, 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 no. Mom! Gosh, honey, yeah. honey. Mother, we have a situation. No, 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 Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Mr. and Mrs. Harmon? You gotta, you gotta see this. This what? is, this is gonna ruin everything. He has a growth. Show it to them. It's disgusting. It's not anything to be worried about. It's something I just found Let's out. Let's see it. It's nothing to be afraid Let of. Let me it's see not... it. Oh, my God. God. I would like everybody to keep an open mind Pull about that it. up again. Let me see that again. We have to get it removed. Do you know a good Somebody's surgeon? Somebody's got to remove that. That's got to be removed. There will be no removed. wedding with that thing sticking out of there like that. Oh, I don't think I'm removing I, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, you are. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. You've lied to us. I and never liked you from the beginning. This is not right. Excuse me? He's going to ruin my special okay, day. Okay, okay, okay. There will be no special day with that thing on there. we got to have it removed. Yeah, it's got to be removed. Okay, we well, get it removed. let me see it. There you go, Tom. Tommy. Oh, Tommy. 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 Yeah, Tom. well, no, no, take it easy. Look at what you've done now. Well, listen, buddy boy, there's no <laughs> wedding unless that thing is removed. I'm not sure. Oh, you two will discuss it right now. Family meeting! Get it removed, right? For us. Well, I, I don't know. For our special day. I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Ooh, I like this flatware. That's nice. It's pretty. Well, that sucked. Trying to deal with this, I didn't think I'd have to deal with her family. I went in there to talk to her and she got her va family involved, which is never good. And just the thought of my little girl rolling over in bed and rubbing up next to that little knob. I'm sorry. I am so glad that nothing it's going to ruin my daughter's special day. I just really tried to be there for him and console him. You know, I was just really here for him, but I just wonder how this affects me. When Max left, I noticed and uh, I took off out the back door. Asked him to show it to me again. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had to I had to see it one more time. I don't know, he might get it taken off. And if, if that happens, well, I've missed my chance, my golden opportunity. Gone. Her family's putting all kinds of pressure on me to, to get this thing off, uh, taken off, and I don't know anything about it yet. You know, I need to know more information and, and talk to other people and, you know, maybe go to that support group he told me about. Find out more about it. Teresa's family wasn't uh, exactly supportive, <laughs> and I just want to come here to try to find that support network. Is this the support group? Yeah, hi, come on in. Welcome to the meeting. Come on in. Let's gather, shall we? Hi. 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 
Matt. All right, everyone, let's start the meeting, shall we? All righty, let's have a seat. Let's uh, say hello to our new member here. Uh, hi, my name is Max. Hi, hi Max. Max. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Max. Welcome, yes. Uh, as you know, in EA, we are a support group. That means that we support. We don't judge, all righty? Okay, EA so is a sanctuary or a safe haven, an Eden, if you will, for people with this problem where they can feel safe and they can feel protected and loved and accepted. As you know, I'm Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. And uh, I just wanted to kind of catch you up, Max, with my story. Uh, as you know, I, I do have a Euclid, and it was extremely large. It wasn't in length, but in girth. And so as a child, I did keep it in my little marsupial pouch because I was trying to uh, deal with a gymnastics career. But anyway, I, I was a very good little gymnast, and uh, as you know, uh, I was disqualified because they didn't recognize the Euclid as part of the human body. Okay, that's okay, no, but it's okay. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> because I'm happy. I'm happy for her. <laughs> good for us. Good for us. Let's have everyone just kind of introduce themselves and kind of. Tell us how you're feeling, all righty, briefly. Uh, all right, uh, I'll start. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Jack. Hi, hi James. Hi, Jack. Uh, I'm feeling uh, actually pretty good today. I had a great, great day. Uh -huh. uh, I, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, please, if you want to applaud, that's a, no, it okay. feels good. Thank you. Hey, I'm Jack Durham. I work at Toyota of Santa Monica, where I sell cars. Lots of them. Every morning, before I even get to my desk, I'm selling cars. Oh, uh, what car is this? Camry. I'll take it. This is a good family car? Yes, it is. Great, we'll take it. Does this come in silver? I'm sorry, no. So. As you can see, it's like uh, I'm, I'm a magician around here. I'm, I'm selling cars without even really trying. Uh, in fact, I can't not sell a car. And I've tried. OK, bye-bye. Hey, I'm interested in your new Scions. OK, OK, we have the Scions here. Um, can I ask uh, what you do for a living? Or uh, I clean pools. OK. Um, you know, uh, all of your equipment probably won't fit into just one Scion. Oh, I'll take two. You know, they used to call me Jack the Slack around here because, I mean, I'd meet my quota, but uh, just barely. And now, because of my new friend, well, I'm top salesman. This is my boy Jack, number one in the country. Keep it up, Jack. I got involved in Euclid's Anonymous uh, after doing some research online. I found their website and uh, you know saw some of the uh, the pictures were pretty graphic, but uh, you know I, I thought, well, why not? I'm I'm one of them. You know, <laughs> I gotta I gotta be with my own. Uh, hi, I'm Ginger Delilah. Hi, I'm Ginger. 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 Uh, I have I've I've had a great day, great week, and um, it's really great to meet you, Max. I'm Ginger Delilah, I'm an interior designer, um, but really that's a limiting title um, because I, I don't see myself just as a designer, I'm a space sculptor. What I'm mostly known for is that uh, I can make a small space appear very large. This is actually 11 by 12, but to the eye, um, because of the force, it does appear larger. And this doesn't just affect me in terms of space. Um, for example, I'm actually a size three, but I appear much larger to you because of the force. Before the force, I was just sort of drifting and I would come in contact with people, but I, I didn't have a lot going for me and my family had sort of tossed me aside and um, it's different now. Look, um, not all of us are blessed, and I, I, I'm blessed to be blessed. I'm very aware of how powerful I am, how beautiful I am, how enticing I am, how smart I am. I speak nine languages. Um, a lot of them I keep to myself. I, I encompass, I, I am. Do you understand? I am, and um, most people aren't. This is all about me. This is my home. You've come into my home, and you want to touch the force? You want to touch the force? Come here, touch it. Come here, touch it. You can't touch it. It's not for you. Back off. Walk. Is it my turn? Yes. Um, I'm Lisa Hiller. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I'm not feeling. Can you not start crying right away, honey? Excuse me. Is he allowed to speak when it's my turn? He shouldn't. Okay. No cross talk. Thank you. Um, I've had a tough morning. Um, 
he's very angry and rude. And um, anyway, I actually wish I had a Euclid today so that I could feel more a part of the group because I feel kind of like I'm not a part. Uh, hi, I'm Richard Hiller. I, I'm Lisa Hiller. And we are uh, parents of our son, Eddie, who has a little tubi. God made him special, but you know, it's not easy. It's real hard. Just tuck that thing in. Tuck that thing in. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. Um, I did tape it down this morning, and just like I always do, even though I'm against it. I do it for him. But for whatever reason... It's been moving on its own lately. I, I don't know why. For the first two years of his life, it just was there, flop, kind of floppy. It's almost like a... Like a tentacle. Know, or an arm. Like an arm without a hand. Yeah! Get away. Get away. Honey, come on, come scared. on. It's, it's okay. not contagious. It's, okay. it's not contagious. Wait. Come on. Oh. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, Stay away from here. You know what? If I wasn't oh, a Christian God. woman, I would tell you where to go. Right. Okay. God's no, watching mommy. you. Mommy didn't tape it there right. Hi, honey. Hi, we're going to go home now. I'm so sorry, no, honey. Home. I, I ah. meant to tape it down. You didn't tape it down. I'd like to have friends someday. I'd like to have friends. Would you want to have friends that treat him like that? I can't Mommy's blame them. The thing is freaking. Because she's happy. I want she it removed. She's sad when she's happy. I don't want to move. We're going home. And this happens whenever we go out in public. You're yelling and in I, my I, ear. And I only ask that my, my wife ear. can You're strap it down. In my ear. Can strap it down when we go out because I want him to have a normal life. Um, I'm sorry for his yelling. And it, of course, is my fault. It's my fault that he was born with a tooth. If I had a penis coming out of my forehead, I'd put a hat on. Oh, my God. I'd put a hat on it. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Um, I wish I had a Euclid, because that would make me special. Um, but I'm happy to be here, and... Uh... Oh, God. Someone get her a Kleenex. Oh, yeah. um... Well, how my wife uh, finally convinced me to come to this meeting is she showed me a picture of my son Drew in daycare. This is him and his 2B and his mommy, and I'm, I'm not in it. Yeah. My name's Richard Hiller. Uh, Hi, Richard. This is our third uh, meeting here. I'm here against my will, as you all know. Uh, I still think it's a bunch of crap. I'm just being honest. Uh, I wish my son didn't have the 2B, and I know I'll accept it eventually, but it doesn't seem like it's worked for a few of you. You've got a drinking problem, lady, and you're, you're a hobo. Hey, I mean, hey, hey. I'm sorry, I'm he here to be honest. Hobo. I'm wondering when this thing is, is going to be over. When, how many more meetings are there? As long as it takes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. You seem a little closed off. Maybe you should have a cocktail. Hobos live on trains. Anyway, can we move on from me? I'm done talking. Fine. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Stevie Ashtanga Davies. Hi, Hi Stevie Ashtanga Davies. And um, this is the third lifetime that I've had a Euclid. Your child may be reincarnationally prone to the appendage. Why, why are you looking at me when you say that? Why are you looking at me when you say that? I am not looking at you when I say that. I have a wandering loose eye. All right, now let's go. Hello, my name is Steve Davis, and I am an enlightenment practitioner. Namas, breathe out. I'm a shepherd. I, I take care of these lambs, and a lot of them, they stumble. But as long as they can be in a pen, as long as they can be in a pasture that is familial, they will do their work, and they will bloom. Death post. God is, 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 is not your butler. That's what I was told. Well, you know what? God is my butler. And I want consciousness, I want empathy, and I want it now, and I want it hot, and I want a linen napkin. Jesus, Buddha, Christ, they are butlers. So you have to say to Jesus, you have to say to Buddha, you have to say, I want it! And then you want to say it again. And this is the important one. You have to say, I want it now! What do you want, though? Soda water, clear water, peppermint tea? A lampshade, a lamp, an apartment, a Learjet, a Cohiba cigar! You want a Cohiba cigar? You want a Hummer? What kind of Hummer do you want? What kind of Hummy do you want? Do you want it in the driveway? Or you want it in the bedroom? What my 
Euclid taught me was that I'm entitled to the fun. I'm not having fun unless I'm touching my Euclid and being joyful in this plane. Could you please levitate, get your ass up in the air? If you levitate, fine. If you lose weight, fine. If you dream, fine. But those people at the EA meeting, that's the nexus. That's the crux. That's where it all comes from. This is a new millennium. This is a new time. This didn't exist 100 years ago. I'm thrilled. My parents were shocked when I came out Caesarian full bloom, and it was devastating for them at the beginning. But what you have to do is remember that it's a reincarnational gift, and that as you go into an energy field in an absolute different destiny, oh, the destiny I am, there is a negativity that is coming off of you at attention that I need a tension cutting device. I live with that. You know, Stevie Ashtanga Davies is going to be mute now. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Travis. Hi. I just wanted to tell you I'm almost finished. It's almost finished. Oh. What is what it? Almost... Why don't you share that? Oh, I okay. told everyone. I was... First time. Well, Max is oh. new, so. It's the helmet. The helmet is almost finished. It's, it's the vision of, of what, is, what is possible. Hi. I'm Travis Lass. And I'm an inventor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where should I start? This, this is, uh, this is my coffee. Once my magic wand appeared, I got ideas. And my ideas expounded upon each other and, and multiplied like amoebas and, and uh, uh, idea grew upon idea and I kept writing them down. Full of ideas, full of different ideas, new ideas, the never changing world of ideas. It was an amazing fortuitous thing. I feel like one of the luckiest human beings on the face of the earth. <laughs> but when you wear this, everyone has a magic wand. And everyone has the ability to change and invent and, and, and enjoy their own paradigm. Do you see it? Do you? Do you? Because I see it. I can't talk uh, to everyone about my magic wand, but I know when I get to that group, of loving, supportive people. I can talk about those things and everyone understands them. And it's beyond belief, my belief, that such love can exude in that room. Uh, hi, my name is Max. Hi, hi Max. Max. Um, I was just diagnosed uh, uh, recently. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I'm also getting married next week. <gasps> oh, great. Feel. Uh, actually, she wants me to have it removed. Chop it off while it's young. Richard! I'm just thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm just, just thinking about it. Max, we don't want to feel, make you feel self-conscious. Okay. Thank you. You Mm -hmm. Own it. Own it. I don't know what my gift is. You don't, he doesn't know what his gift is. Oh. oh. Joe, do you want to tell him? Tell him what his gift is? I don't know what his gift is. Tell, tell him about your gift. Um, well, I'd like to thank Stevie for um, selling me out, because he remembers from the last meeting when I've been saying that I, I don't have a gift. I haven't found my gift yet. So basically, I'm getting all the, you know, the downside of the Euclid without any of the upside of the Euclid. Hi, I'm, I'm Joseph McVicker. And uh, I'm not technically homeless. I, I live in my car. Um, I like to consider myself uh, kind of a uh, displaced nouveau riche. Welcome to my home. Uh, I used to have uh, several homes. Uh, but, uh, you know, when the Euclid came about, uh, I, my marriage kind of fell apart and my business you know, as businesses are wont to do, kind of fell apart. And uh, so I've been learning a lot about min minimalism. That was Catherine. She lives in the neighborhood. She's actually really cool. I, I have pictures of the things that I don't have anymore. Um, not to, you know, pour salt in the wound or anything, but like, here, can you see that? Is that good? Is that good? That's my Learjet, all right? What well, was my Learjet, and that was my Rolls. Ah, Silver Shadow. 
I try to motivate myself and I'm um, doing a lot of positive thinking. I've been reading uh, a, a book and listening to tapes called um, Power Phrases. And you got power phrases like this one, today is better than yesterday. And you know, when you think about it, that's mostly true. Okay, I gotta go. So as sucky as things are, and they're pretty sucky, I'm, I'm confident that with EA's help, you know, they're gonna get better. Oh, fuck! Fuck! God! Fucking birds! <laughs> Your kid, you know, is in for a rough ride. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. No, it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to, but, it, but sometimes it is, and you have to know the truth, and nobody told me this, okay? And if there is reincarnation, I'm gonna come back with this thing, then, you know, just send me to hell, because I am living, no, I, it's my time, I can, it is, wait a minute, it's my time, you can't judge my feelings. I am living in my car. Blah. 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 Oh, yeah, you didn't fucking leave that as well. You were talking about your fucking... You quit your mind. Stop it. Save me. Put that hand down. Stop it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. All righty. That was good. That was really good. I'd just like to point out that Hobo Joe is probably the only realist in this whole room. He had the 2B the right. and look what happened in his life, honey. Hobo Joe's the only realist in this whole room. What's Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Real is what you make it, okay? Mm -hmm. Why don't you go smoke some more marijuana? Hey, why don't you smoke my pole, fucker? Oh, hey, 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 support. <laughs> support. Let's be civil here. You know what? I think that you need to recognize that you have an anger inside you that's like a cancer. And it is in every cell in your body. Don't touch me. And if you have any sense in your body, you're going to take your beautiful, blessed son and you're going to leave this dark, angry, cancerous man. Would you mind okay. taking a breathalyzer test, man? Uh, let, let's just calm down for a minute. Yeah. I believe that we are giving Max the wrong impression here. That's right, man. These people are going through the same trouble. Yes, mm -hmm. and we went through it as well. I am Patricia. This Hi, is Patricia. Robert. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. What God is giving you is okay. You know, God sometimes gives one eye people one eye. God sometimes takes away. There's a reason for everything, and there's a reason that God gave you this. And, and your you... girlfriend will believe in you if you believe in yourself. Yes. Uh, oh, does anyone have any announcements? Oh, uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. If you don't mind, yeah. uh, Patricia and I uh -huh. would like to invite... Uh, most of you mm -hmm. to uh, our yacht this weekend. Yes, yes, please. We're gonna have drinks, some food, some hors d'oeuvres, you can smoke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, same thing here. My door's always open. Swing on by this week if you want. We'll go for a hike, take a swim, listen to some music, you know, whatever. We'll just keep it simple, all right? So please, I beseech you, come on by. Good, thank you. Um, on Saturday, I'll be parked on uh, Melrose and Hauser, if anyone wants to come by. All right, all right, you know what? I think it's time to link up. Yeah, that's okay. Yep, yep. yep. Let's do some still linking. Everybody else is going to touch the Euclid on either side of them. Yes. She won't let me touch tonight. Okay. Okay. That good? That feels so good? Let's do this. Ready? 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 I want you, I love you, I need you. I accept you, I accept you. Get your, get your hands, you. get your hands off his Euclid. I love you, this is ridiculous. I need you, all right, all right, mm -hmm. all right that was good. Keep yeah, that back. was really good, all righty, I think that was a good meeting. All right, let's have some refreshments, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Coffee. okay. Like, I went all right, all things considered. There's a lot of strong personalities here. Uh, some people I connected to, some people I uh, didn't at all. You know, uh, Stevie's been trying to, you know, get up in my business for a long time. He, he, he pissed me off. I will take him on. I will, I'll, 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 I'll bring him down if I have to. And I can tell I'm small, but I'm wiry. Would you like to join a book club of mine? Because I'm looking to start one. I don't have any members yet, but I thought maybe we could read the new Princess Diana book or something. Sure. You would? Sure. Sure. Yeah. 
course. That would be no, no, don't, 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 don't touch me. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be coming over to your little party because I don't do drugs. You know what? Um, first of all, nor do I, at least not in the... Oh, yeah? Well, I smell marijuana. You know what? It's patchouli. You know what patchouli is? Some kind of marijuana? <laughs> Max fellow is very attractive. Um, so, I, you know, it's always... I'm always happy when there's a new face in the crowd, so to speak. This is oh, going to open all doors for you. Everything happens because of this, okay? Yeah. You need to if know I that. If I keep it. Well, you have to. If you keep it. Oh. oh. Super, <laughs> super. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're so you, you keep that, I'll keep him. I'll say <laughs> I just okay. have some food, please. You've been you blocking us for 20 minutes. Please, have Fine, go. Eat a, a berry. Eat Here. a berry. Here. Go okay. on. Oh, take oh, it. Oh, just oh, go oh, on and oh, take oh, it. It's all yours, okay? It's all yours. Robert. Well, I'm sick of it. I mean, the man is just right. a bundle okay, you know of negativity, what? for God's yes, sake. Yes. Oh, look at this. Um, we haven't had that kind of confrontation in a while. And I think new blood brings in, um, you know, a, a dark side of people. I, I lost it once, and I apologize for that, but that happens occasionally. And I, I feel very bad about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lisa, get this here, honey. Okay. Well, that's you my fault. Oh, right my God. There. Yes, and get that Step over there, all right? Thanks, Your Louise. husband made a mess right over here, too. Yeah. Good. But you were sort of... This, this, is, the kind of, this is the kind of people you're, you're running the risk of falling in with here. Just because they have this thing, they're going to make you feel like one of them. Just, well, you're not... I feel like you were challenging the group. I just wanted to, I just wanted to eat. You're, you're not far into this cult yet. You have a chance. I want you to understand that you don't have to put up with the negativity. You have a gift in your child. Go home. Take care of that baby. Look at that baby's thing, a pondage, whatever you want to call it. But love it. Take care of it. Okay. You don't have to do this anymore. I'm afraid that I've upset the sad one. She doesn't understand that it's a revolutionary way of being. The guy with the hat on, he told me I should stand up for myself. What are you doing? Nothing. We don't need to give any interviews. Um, I have to go. Let's go. This guy who was sending out negative poison, I call it negapoise, and uh, he looked at me after the meeting ended and I looked at him, and I went in for a hug. And more than a hug, I went in to connect, and I got him. I want to figure out what's going on with your husband, because I feel like this guy is hurting you, and he's hurting your child. That's all. I care about my son. Don't you dare say that about Please my son. Please don't fight. You know what? All, what, what I dare say? Look, we're here to make friends. Oh, God, don't, honey, don't cry. It's all right. Listen, she cries all the time. I'm going to hug, your, hug your wife, which is something maybe you might think about doing Sometime this year. What was the last time you got a hug? Come here. Hey, Buster. Hey, hey. Listen, hug me. Listen, Buster. Let's hug each other. Let's go home. Bring it in here. Bring what it in here. Together? That's it. What are you doing? I am so relaxed and excited when one of these meetings is over because I feel that they're like my charges and that I can just open the door and let them run free upon the world and affect change as they see fit. Cut the cord with evil, Euclid is the devil's tail. Cut the cord with evil, Euclid is the devil's tail. Cut the cord with evil, Euclid is the devil's tail. Cut the cord with evil. I'm going to give you my number. There they are! Surgery is your salvation! Surgery is your salvation! The devil's tail! The devil's tail! Hey, hey, surgery is your salvation, brother. You don't have to do this, I'm trust me. I'm all right, okay? No, all no, right. it's okay, no, you weren't fine. born with it, okay? I'm, no, I'm no, you were born pure. Oh, wait a it's like the, the roots hey, of... Brian? You know Brian, Brian, Brian's a brother. Yeah, Brian's a brother. Hey, so you gotta support her, trust me, with prayer. It's the roots of the devil that have grown inside you. It's, it's okay, not who right. you are, you were born that. pure. Okay. Hey, okay, it's okay. Huh? Remove the roots from your soul. All right, surgery's your salvation. I think we got one. Cut the cord with evil. Cut the cord with evil. You guys should know about this guy. You know about Max? No. He's got this thing. It's an extra body part. What? Yeah. And it's not just like a 
third nipple or something. It's evil. Look, I'm not a religious person, but if you've read your New Testament, the Antichrist has one. <gasps> Maxis is a bigger. Yeah, I kind of always thought he was kind of weird. This totally figures. He's so different. I mean, we've got all this wonderful creamer in the refrigerator. Mm. He's the only one in the office that drinks the powdered stuff. Yeah. The only one. Yeah, well, you know, I sterilized my cup just in case. I, I think he's nice, though. I don't know why. Yeah, nice today. Contagious tomorrow. If you have any sick days, I'd take them now. I, I don't even have health insurance yet. I've got like six days left and I'm taking them. But what really should be happening is he should be out the door today. I agree. Well, what do we, how do we do that? Maybe somebody should talk to the boss. Let's just get him out of here. I know where he parks. And what if something happened to his car? Not a bad idea, but you didn't hear it from me. You guys talking about killing somebody? <laughs> Look, that's crazy talk. No, but seriously, I know where he parks. If something happened to his car, if something happened to, you know. I'm not gonna murder anybody. <laughs> murder, who's talking about murder? No. Here he comes. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, where you got a new tie? Don't, don't touch me, please. He's leaving, come back. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Did you tell them about me? Is there something they should know about you? You know what I'm talking about, about my thing. I saw you yesterday. You, what are you talking about? I was I home saw, all day. I saw you yesterday. I saw you and I know that you know and that you're, t t you, I can tell that they know. I was on the street, shopping. I've known you for eight years. You, oh, you're shopping yeah. with a sign in your hand, yelling, shouting things. You don't even know anything about this. I'm dealing with this. this. This is my personal life. I don't need to be dealing with this at my job. Look, buddy, you've been under a lot of stress lately. How would you like it if I told them about you, about you photocopying your genitals? Go huh? ahead. They already know. Yeah? Yeah. Look, let's just talk about this. Sure, of course. Right after lunch. I don't want it to be a fight. We've known each other for too long. No problem. Let's talk right after lunch. Cool? Is that a deal? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. I did not need this. I certainly didn't expect it from Brian. I'm just glad I took care of it and nipped it in the bud. Do I feel bad about telling my coworkers? No. This is bigger than that. This is about the human race. Hey. Good morning, Max. Morning. I'd like to talk to you for a minute if I could. Yeah. How are you feeling today? I'm doing all right. Really? Okay. You're quite the celebrity around the office, aren't you? People are talking about Max. Ah, you know how people talk. Brian here talking to Brian, probably. Yeah, everybody. Everybody seems to be talking about your growth. People are concerned that it might rub off on them. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh. It is not contagious. It's not contagious. I have. Nobody has to deal with this. Oh. They can forget about it, and not, not, my performance will not be affected. It might be improved, if anything. It's not going to be improved, I know that. And everything is affected, Max. Everything is affected. In fact, I'm going to have to ask you to make a choice. You can either have the growth removed, or you can pack your bags and clean up your desk and leave. You think you can do that? Oh, I know I can. <laughs> But I'll give you some time. You've got 10 seconds to decide. Eight. Oh, you're down to five now, Max. Time is going by. I could tell you something about every single person in this office. Can I stop you right there? This isn't going to work out. I guess I'll leave. You're fired. Oh, you said you'd leave before I said you'd fire. That's good. But it's been fun ordering you around all these years, and I will expect you to show up at the company picnic. Well, you're not invited to the wedding anymore. Yeah, I wasn't gonna come. Go ahead and pack your things and clean out your desk. You've got about 10 minutes. I'll have security show you out. Thank you. Well, I have just been fired. None of these people are coming to my wedding. I will have security escort them out. I can't tell Teresa about this. To She'll flip. A week before the wedding, I'm gonna have to hide it. This has been the worst day. My life is falling apart. I don't even know where to turn. That guy Rex invited me over, so... Maybe I'll go over there. He seemed to already have a meeting. 
Hey, well, well, well. Stand by. It's this guy. Oh. Oh. I knew it. I knew this guy would show. <laughs> Sorry for the road. <laughs> Relax. You are here. Time to be safe, okay? Gonna have some fun today. We're gonna get some barbecuing going on. We got some colas and drinks in the back. This is the patio, <laughs> all right? This is where you are free to be yourself and enjoy. You are safe here, all right? Fucking safe. Everybody, this is my man. Welcome! Max. Max! Hey, Sheila. Hi, Max. Hey. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Soaking up the sun, having some fun today. So all small spaces, like elevators and... A few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably because, you know, you grew up with just hey, your mom. Hey, hey, kids. There oh, you go. Thanks. You met Blue? Yep. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for the drink. You got it. How we doing, guy? Doing good, thanks. <laughs> I think we could loosen up a little bit and free ourselves. I'm good. I'm, I, feel, I feel loose. Hi, I'm Rex McWilliams, and I like to keep it natural. I don't hold back, I don't stand for bullshit, and I will push you as far as you can go. And I guess part of my whole thing is to say, hey, you got the key to unlock your jail. So, uh, what's going on? Let's get it out there. I'm all right, I'm, I'm all right like this. Uh, it doesn't feel all right. It feels a little scary. Yeah, yeah, scary, scary, yeah. It's yeah. good though. Yeah. I, mean, I know you're I know. excited. <laughs> to, uh, I'm excited. Uh -huh. Then um, what can we do to sort of I don't know, help just, you uh, to find and release? Just feeling a little, okay. a little, a little nervous, a little yeah. on edge. It's a trust problem. Oh, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. okay. <laughs> Tell you what, eye contact. Okay. Mine, with okay. me. Okay, okay. All right, now, I want you to let me know when you start to feel uncomfortable, okay? Now. Okay, good, now relax. Maybe. Close your eyes. Vi we're gonna keep going, visualize, all right? You're in the Sierras, okay? No, fuck that, you're in, um, you're in a river, standing in a river, all right? Feel the water on your legs? You feel that? Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's cool, it's good okay. though, right? You enjoy the water, enjoy the water. Yeah, it's rising. Up to your thighs, you let, release, release into the water. It's in your crack, it's in your balls. Yeah, here it is, it's rising high. Good, good, you love it. it. Yes, yes, that is the trust we need. Let's get you out of these. Get off of me! Get the fuck out, get the fuck out of here! How's the drink? It's really good. So, uh, do you like ATVs? I'm not in the closet with this, you know? I'm not all, ooh, what a, uh, I hope nobody knows about this. Uh. My thing is like, I'm in your face with it. You know what? This is who I am, and if you can't handle it, fuck you. Maybe you need to look at yourself. Maybe you need to go, huh, why do I have a problem with that? Teresa? Honey, do you have any time right now? I just wanted to uh, come over and talk. All right, thanks. I'll be there in a little bit. I feel dirty after that. Those are not my kind of people. No way. So mom, I'm a little concerned because I'm looking at the registry right now and I see that someone has checked off the French Rococo terrine, but not the soup ladle. <laughs> You know, what are we supposed to do? Like the gravy out like we're dogs? <laughs> we need the soup ladle. I know, what is it, like $15? The terrine's like a thousand. Can't someone get it? Um, also, yeah, I've been thinking, I don't wanna do a bouquet toss. No, no, it's so, it's so pedestrian. I think it would be better to have an anniversary dance. Oh good, I'm so glad we're on the same page about that. Oh, I love you, that's why I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Uh, Whose anniversary? We're doing it. We're doing the... Oh honey, no. No one's anniversary. I just, I'm not gonna do the bouquet toss. I'm gonna have an anniversary dance at the wedding. Don't all the girls get excited about the uh, catching bouquet? Who cares? I wanna keep it. <laughs> I wanna talk to you about, um, I met a few of the other people that have this uh, condition, you know, the Euclid. Right, right. And I'm starting to think you were right about um, getting it 
removed before the wedding. Right, right. Yeah, I, I already scheduled it. I have a great doctor, and he's going to remove that for you, baby. Well, okay, but I'm just talking to you about it now, and I, I was hoping we could discuss it. And that, why did why did you already Honey, it's call taken if I, I'm just talking of. about it's it? It's taken care of. Know, Don't worry about I it. I just think we should be discussing things like this. You know, as we're I love married. you. I want that thing removed. I love you, too. And I'm thinking of having it removed, too. Would it be, this would I be one of the things that we would talk about. We don't need to talk about it. I know that you want it. See, that's right. what's great about us, our union, is that I know what you want to do before <laughs> you know <laughs> that you want to do it. Well, it's you don't know great. anything until I tell you what I want, or you don't. Honey, Sorry. we are in completely in sync now. It's great. So, you want to um, help me with my checklist? Yeah, I get to do something, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's great is I am a great multitasker. It's a gift that I have. And um, I think he was really surprised that I was able to plan this whole wedding and stay on top of everything and schedule his surgery for him. But, you know, I love him. I want what's best for him. Well, I came over here to talk to Teresa about um, having this surgery, and she had already scheduled it with the doctor. Which, uh, you know, she's right. I'm, I'm thinking it's a good idea, and we're about to get married, so I, I should learn to trust her, because it's in my best interest. And she's looking out for her, so. So this guy from the meeting invites me over to his house? Oh, yeah, yeah. How was that? I go there? Yeah. Everybody's naked. What do you mean, naked? Naked. They're, they all have their things hanging out. Together? Yeah, the guys and the women, both ha they all had these things. Oh, let's go by there right now. No, it was let's just, let's no. just drive by. You can no. say you forgot something. It was weird. The guy was seedy. I don't want to know. Well, no. what's the next thing? They hang out all the time, right? They got a yacht party. Oh, I'm going to that. Mm. Yes, I am. No, we're going to go to the yacht party. No. Don't shake your head at me. We're going to go. Let's go. Let's go to the yacht party. It sounds brilliant. I don't feel like I'm part of these people. I don't see myself That's as... That's where I come in. That's what I'm good for. I'm. You know I make connections with people. I'm a people person. You don't have one of these. I'll, I'll, I'll just... I'll fake it. What do you doubt? Look. I think look. we'll be able to tell. You, you're racist. That's racist. Now open up your heart, take me to this yacht, and introduce me to girls. You don't want to be part of these people. Just follow me in and don't make a scene. I'm not making a scene, right. dude. Don't mention. I know, I know. Just look behind. I know, I trust you, but just, just hang on. What, what do these people do? I don't know what they do. I just know they have money. Okay. A bird. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Max. Max. Max, you made it. Robert, so uh, good. Uh, thank you. The Riley. The Riley. Ernie. Ernie. Hi. hi. I'm Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Good and I'm Robert. Hi, Robert. I'm Ernie. Ernie. Very I, nice I to meet you. I also have a. Uh, you could. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, we all do. Yeah. Uh, good for you. So we don't need to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the drive over, we were saying we're gonna be proud tonight. We're proud. Oh, he is Did proud. Did you bring your fiance? Did you bring her? Uh, no. Uh, oh. her and the girls are doing a, a spa thing. They're. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, I did yeah. that three times. It was so much really? fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice to meet you. I'm gonna get oh, a drink. Sure. Okay. Oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. It's a beautiful boat. Okay. Well, enjoy. Thank nice you. to meet you. Hi, uh, my name is Patricia. And I'm Robert. Uh, we're the Rileys. Yes. And we're uh, rich. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing at all. Oh, and you know what? Later on, you know, um, we, earlier, uh, Diana Ross was here. Oh. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. And uh, supposedly Barbara is going to be here a little later. Well, we're hoping. Yeah, we're hoping. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody here? So uh, well, not right now. You know, I mean, you might recognize some people. Some people, you know. I haven't seen her yet. No, not. So yet. you, you look fabulous. Mm -hmm. How, how Thank are you, you feeling? Thing. Uh, a little nervous. Uh, nervous? You know, well. No, and there's, what, are you, what, you, what, what is there to be nervous about? You are who you are, and you have brought a gift into oh. this life and into this have world. Have you discovered your gift? What is it? I don't, I don't actually know. No, come on, tell us. Oh, my no, God. I, I don't know. I'm not hiding it. I don't, well, do you have any know. ideas what it might be? It's feeling... Do you, an artist. I'll bet you're an artist. He looks like an artist. I don't know. He does I mean, look I'm like an artist. Where's the shirt of an artist? Doctor! <gasps> are you a dancer? No. Oh. Have you tried dancing, though? No. Sometimes you have to at least make the attempt, and then you find out Oh my gosh, this is what I do. This is my gift. The Rileys actually seem pretty cool, cooler than I thought, but I just don't know if this scene is for me. Yeah, pretty good. That one's hey. okay. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Oh, it's so good, good. to see you. Kevin, good to see this you. This is Max. Hi, Max. Hi, hi. This is Kevin, Kevin Healy. Healy. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Agent. Agent. Uh, Lots of people he brings. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go uh, catch up with my friend. Okay, okay. sweetie, bye bye. And that's when I discovered that I had it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so funny. I know, right? Yeah. Right, man? You're with me on that. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, it's good. So, yeah. yeah. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. I really I love that. Yeah, you're too funny. She's such a beautiful actress, isn't she? You know, you oh. remind me of her a little bit, actually. And so do you, a little bit. Oh, and you do too, actually, here. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I see something inside of you a little bit that's like her. I can see how cool it would be to have one of these things because these people are really, are really cool and they're like their own community, you know? And I've never been a part of anything. So where is Barbara? <sighs> well, what? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You promised us. You, you told. We told people. I don't know. I just talked to James Brolin like an hour ago. Oh, what, and just James? James, James is, is coming. Nothing. I, James is not coming. He does all the. I don't understand why he's involved in everything. But ever, it's like you always got to go through James Brolin for some reason. Well, try speaking to Barbara Streisand because that's, that's who we who invited. We want. That's who we want. He doesn't let anyone said. talk to Barbara Streisand. You have to go through James Brolin. Well, what's God. the point of you well, so being thank here? You so May much. I ask you here, have some in? cheese. What's the point? Of, don't give him that. What is the point of you being here? Wait a minute. Excuse me. What did you just say? I said here. Have some cheese. And I said don't give him that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, she. Who? Her or me? Oh, no, let's have some cheese. Uh, have some cheese? Like I'm cheesy? What? It's you just cheese. Down. I gave Fuck everybody you. else here's had cheese. She's what a coming. cheap shot. You need to calm down. Yeah, and, and you need to calm down. You know what, guys? <sighs> I can't she's not coming. She's just oh, not coming. She's not coming. Just, you know what? Right. No. Yeah. You know what? You know, then don't. Put this yeah. on my tab. Later. And, you know Later. what? Good, good. And please refrain from the vulgar language. I told language. you he wouldn't bring her. Oh, I don't even know why he's here. Agents, yeah, you know? Fine. Anyway, why is Kevin here all the time if he doesn't bring the goods? Because you keep inviting him. I don't because invite him Because he says anymore. he's going to bring them and then he doesn't. Yeah, but he never I, does. Maybe I have faith in him. Maybe I, there's something maybe wrong with like me. Maybe you like his eyes. I don't know. A night like tonight, I just feel free. I feel like... Don't you guys feel hot right now? Mm. Is it just... Yeah. 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 Are you feeling yeah. hot out here? Yeah, that's great. I, I've got the best air conditioner at home. I was telling you about it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It keeps it really cool, you know? And, and sometimes I like to lay out and just let my shit go out, you know, on the bed. Yeah. Turn on the air conditioner, you know. Yeah. I don't have a cat anymore. So now I'm just cool, I can lay out naked, no one's gonna bother us or me or we whatever. Thank you, sir, you had a great time. Oh, okay, you guys aren't coming? You guys aren't gonna, okay, but then I'll call, okay. Good night, good night, Tina, Bye. take it easy. Bye. Thank you, thanks for the back rub. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, the theme of my prom was Lady in Red, and um, all the girls were gonna wear red dresses, and they chickened yeah. out. And I was like, the only guy in a red dress. <laughs> Which it was, um... Oh, God. Hey. Hey. It's fucking cold. Yeah. I left my jacket in my Porsche. Uh, oh, yeah, I met you inside. Yeah, did you see it? Uh... Your coat? No, no. No, my Porsche. Oh, you, oh no, I didn't see it. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to represent you. For what? Movies, TV, Vegas, one-man shows, oh. anything. Oh, no, I'm not an actor. I know a lot no, of people no. here are. Listen to me. You are. Uh, no! <laughs> yes, say yes. Listen, I want you to come by the office tomorrow. We'll talk about me representing you, sign some paperwork, just get it done and get it rolling, okay? Just come on by. I did lose my job, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh... Don't worry. <laughs> start buying stuff. <laughs> I mean it, start buying big stuff. Go buy a car, buy a house. <laughs> You're laughing, but, uh, uh, I know. Do you mind if I have a sip of your wine, by the way? They cut me off. Oh, sure. Ha ha ha! Ah! Assholes. So I want you to just come by the office, we'll talk, we'll do the paperwork, and boom, we'll get it rolling. I'll think about it. I, uh... I was, uh, sitting back here, I was feeling kind of down, and, uh, this agent guy came up to me and said, like, he thought I had what it takes, and, uh... I don't know, I just lost my job. Might as well go meet with him. No doubt about it. I mean, he, the ink is going on the paper. I got this guy. I could tell. He just lost his job, which is perfect for me. Hi, uh, Max Angeli. Hi. Uh, do you have an appointment? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, Mr. Healy? Okay. Go ahead and have a seat. He'll be okay. right with you. Great. Sit 
Send him in, Robbie. Mr. Angeli? Thanks. Terry Gilliam? Who's he again? Which one is he on Monty Python? Was he the tall guy? That guy's fucking hilarious. Okay, bye. Hi. Hi. I just want to come in since you approached me last night on the yacht. You know, the second I saw you, I knew. Yeah. Yeah, all those people on the boat, all the wind and sails to distract you. No, I knew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's let's hurry up and get the paperwork signed so we can start working for you, man. Get that machine rolling, okay? I'm good. I'm a little reluctant. Listen, listen. Anyone who's big that you've ever heard of has a Euclid, okay? I'm talking Harrison Ford, uh, Jack Nicholson, Warren Beatty, Diane Keaton, anybody, anybody, anybody. And you are one of them, okay? Do you like money being poured on your head? Have you ever had money poured on your head? I have. It's fucking fantastic. And it's going to happen to you. <laughs> I couldn't stop it, you know. Get an umbrella, man. Get a big anti-cash umbrella, because it's going to be hitting you. Oh my god. What are you going to buy first? So go sign that paperwork, OK? Use my pen. I would love to. I just, I have the wedding coming up and I have a lot to think about this week. You know what? It's, I don't, it's okay. It's okay because, um, I mean, I don't, I don't need you. I'm not trying to play a game, but I'm going to go to Euclid and just reach out and grab hunks of people. Then I'm going to make them big stars. Euclid? Everybody there is a Euclid. It's a perfect city. There's no crime. Everyone is amazingly talented. Everyone's rich. Yeah. Whew. They go, people go there? Yeah, then? I'm gonna retire there. So what do you think, you gonna sign? I really just like some time to think about it, but it sounds great. <sighs> okay. Is that all right? Oh. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call you a week or two. Sure, I okay. can't stop you. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, I got it too. <laughs> I know. Okay, okay, oh, got it, excuse me. I gotta take this, okay? Okay, get out. Okay. Hi, Johnny. Oh, I saw pirates. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> yeah, the rules are changed. Uh, well, I just came from the agent's office. Uh, he was a little aggressive. Uh, it was just weird. I mean, I don't have an experience. I don't expect to be represented. But the best part was I found out about this town called Euclid, California, uh, where everybody there has one of these things. And well, I got the surgery tomorrow, but I, I kind of want to just jump in my car and check it out. Uh, hi, honey. I am on the road. Uh, I should have called you. I got a minute, last minute uh, business meeting. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, early on time for the surgery. I will. I'll see you there. I love you. I know I lied to Teresa, but, uh... I just kind of need to do this for me, you know? I just didn't want to tell her about it. <sighs> but, it's just for me. All in here I see the nest of things What is it that brings the world crashing down around your ears? Well, uh, I just arrived in the town of Euclid. It was amazingly easy to find. The last few miles felt like a magnetic pull, you know, bringing me here. But uh, yeah, I just want to meet a few people. I saw a barbershop down the street. I might uh, go check out. Just get to know a couple people. Oh, hey! Nice uh, to meet you. I'm Tom. Great to meet you. You too. How do you like wow. our, our town? Uh, I just drove up. Well, it's nice to meet you, Max. I'm Andy, and oh. uh, this is my pop, Andy. Yeah. yeah. You guys all uh, full grown, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 
Uh -huh. And how about yeah. yourself? Uh, just very recent. You know, just well, right? congratulations. Yeah. congratulations. Yeah. A little addition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take it slow. Just yeah. take it slow. Wow. And time. both. Uh, oh you know, yeah. no 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 since since birth. Oh, yeah, wow. absolutely born with it. Wow. <laughs> Almost cut off the wrong thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you should see the hose on this guy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Show me yeah. the hose. My name is Bob Lansky. I'm a fireman here in Euclid, California. Been here uh, six years and two months. Never had a fire. Show him. Show him the hose. Show him the hose. Show him the hose. Show him the the gun on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gunner. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Collins of the EPD, and I gotta tell you, I love this town. It's the friendliest, most crime-free town in the world. Timmy, <laughs> call me. Poker tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here for the festival? Oh no, what festival? Oh. Oh. I didn't know there was a festival. Oh, oh yeah, there's a festival. Yeah, you kidding? It's a huge power. Yeah, we're we're pulling out all the stops this year, buddy. You you gotta be there for this. I mean, you you're here and this is once a year. Once a year, and I'm here on the day. Once yeah, no, year. you 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 are gonna be there for that festival. This is the main drag where the parade goes by. Yeah, oh yeah, we've got the top. We got the whole big. You know, we got like a 50 foot inflatable eucalypt just comes. You know, coming through there like that, yeah. And then afterwards we go to the festival and we got all kinds of crazy things for the kids and the little tykes. Yeah, and all the fun never stops, really. It's just boom, bing, boom, boom, you know? <laughs> and then we sing, of course, you know, we sing the, the national Euclid anthem, which is, you know, Every Euclid has its place Here in Euclid town There a Euclid, here a Euclid Everywhere a Euclid Here in Euclid town I can get you the lyrics. You can get me the lyrics? Oh, or you can download them. Uh, I can mail it to you. I, I, I can uh, send it to you via fax. I can scan it for you. I'll, I'll write it in Spanish and then translate it for you. I can do it in Braille, Latin, Hebrew. Um, I, I can do it in colors and shapes. I can set up a secret code and then I have a matching code that you can figure it out so no one else will know. I have a t-shirt that says it. I could put it on a mirror and you could watch yourself memorize it. I could do, do it, you, I could get water droplets and put it in sand and I could use rocks, I could use pebbles. I will, I will assign a food for each word and then you will recognize the food while you eat it. I, I can, I will, I will make a hat and on the brim of the hat will be the words. I, I will use NASA technology, that, I will use naval commands. I will whisper it in your ear, I will shout it to you. I will teach a chimp and then the chimp will teach you. I will have, I will have brides come and marry you. And then on your honeymoon, your vows will be the lyrics. We will sing it at the wedding. We'll get, I will get the president on the phone. He will assign you a special agent. That agent will come to your house, watching your every move, making you memorize it. If you don't memorize it, we'll apply like a little shock. Every time you get it wrong, you'll get shocked. That way you will learn. And each time you mess the same thing up, the shock level will increase. Or, or, or not. <laughs> You're gonna stay the night, right? Uh, I hadn't planned to. Well, you can stay at the firehouse. Well, I was just gonna check it out today and leave before the night. You can grab the top bunk, it's free. Well, you are all set, my friend. Free. There you go, Thank looking you good, much. looking good. All right, Cal, hop right in there. All oh, yours. I thought one of you, you got it, you away. got it. Take oh, your please, 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 please. Absolutely. Oh. All right, you look great. Right. Okay, uh. here we go. So how did this town get started anyway? Oh, that's a good one. Look up there, that's Robert Cornwall. He was part of a group of traveling freaks, you know, circus stuff, and he fell off the truck and said, hey, this is better than being a freak. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. And, and it prospered from there, you know, and uh, wow. we've become a really happy town. And Seems we like are it. happy people. I love being a barber in this town. Yeah, I, I love this town, really. It's the greatest town on the face of the earth. You know, I mean, nothing bad happens here. You know, I mean, back in 82, I do remember there was a rumor that something bad had happened and, you know, it spread like wildfire. And in the end, it's just a rumor. <laughs> Nothing bad. Uh, I met, I met uh, Max at the barber shop. Uh, you know, I'm in the process of looking for a new best friend right now. I thought we got off on a real good start. Um, I, I, uh, I, he's sitting in my chair right now. Uh, and I just, I, I, I just, there was instant eye contact. Well, I just met a, a bunch of great people and, uh, I know Teresa does know I'm here, but the surgery's not till tomorrow, and I'm just having a good time, you know, and 
I just drove all the way out here. I feel like I should make the most of it. He's got a new philosophy Trying to lay it on me Telling me what I need to do Saying if I'd seen what he's been through I could be as happy as him too Since he had a major breakthrough I, I'm not someone you need to save I'll find my own way I'll find my own way I'll find my own way So excellent I'll find my own way Well, hey there, stranger. Hey. I stick out, huh? Everybody knows I'm new. Like a sore thumb around here. <laughs> Can I get you something? Sure. Uh, your best beer? Oof, we got plenty of that. <laughs> Uh, I like to call it go-go juice. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, you in town for the big festival? Uh, no, I'm just here for the day. I, uh, I got some stuff to do tomorrow. Um, I'm actually uh, getting married next week, so, uh, my fiance has had me, well, she, we, I have surgery tomorrow to, to get this removed, so, uh, we're just gonna get everything squared away before the wedding. I don't know. You sure that's something you want to do? Uh, my fiance, sure, so... <laughs> That's the important thing, I yeah. guess. Or, yeah. You know, buddy, I'm not telling you what to do. I just really think maybe you should push the wedding back a couple weeks and really th rethink this. No, I couldn't do that. I could push the surgery back maybe, but no, the wedding's, wedding's set. You just think about it, all right? If you need anything, you hold it. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks. Is the seat taken? I uh, know. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> uh, How are you? I haven't seen you around here. I'm, I haven't been around. I've been around like 10 minutes. I don't know why I would have seen you. But, oh, really? Just today? Yeah, but, but I'm seeing you now. It's my first day, too. Oh, my, really? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you're here for tomorrow. Uh, no, just for today, actually. Oh. That's weird. I want, why wouldn't you stay for tomorrow? I've... I just found out about this, so I'm just here at, in town to check it out, and then I gotta head out. And you must be just psyched, or? <laughs> well, it's it's actually been a pretty big uh, hassle in my life, to tell the truth. That's weird. It's kind of the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Up until now, my life has been so normal. I've, everything's just been so boring, you know. And all of a sudden, you know, I got my little my little rib scribbler, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everything's just. I don't know, like a rainbow in the sky or something. You That's know what amazing. I mean? That has not been my experience. <laughs> really? He was not as comfortable with his Euclid as um, I am with mine, and I felt like I was sort of sent to him to help him get over it, and um, I also thought maybe to make out. Um, you have a little something on your on your cheek. It's oh. Like you can... oh, it's a dimple. Oh. <laughs> uh, you knew that. <laughs> That's cute. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Got a whole cute thing happening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I bet thank you get that you. a lot, though, you know. Uh, no. Especially no. now. You're actually pretty easy to talk to. Oh, really? Well, I'm rubber, you're glue. And you're also, you know, easy to talk to. You're easier to get along with than my fiance, so it seems like a little bit. Your fiance? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting married next week. No, that's... I'm sorry. I'm the one that's oh, sorry. Wow. Uh, I missed out on a good one. All the good well, dukes are taken. Yeah. That's actually why I'm uh, getting it removed tomorrow for the wedding. You're getting it removed? <laughs> Well, prop. I mean, yeah, that's the plan. So that's that's a, that's a horrible thing. I mean, you're just perfect the way you are. That's nice. Well, yeah. I think it's really sad that his fiance wants him to cut his gift off. I could, I could, I could punch her, knock her out, and then I could make out with him. Bartender was great. And Becky was great. This whole town is. Really warm. I have had a great time today, but uh, I am getting the surgery tomorrow, so kind of got to head back for Teresa. She's waiting for me. I have had a couple drinks tonight, though, so I might just take a couple hours nap in my car, head back after that. Teresa has cornered me into this whole removal surgery. Frankly, it makes me very uncomfortable. It's, it's up to me, isn't it? But I made a promise, and I don't break promises.
Why don't you have a seat? Thank you. Sure. Doctor will be right with you. Excellent. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, uh, Dr. William Dean, how are you doing? I actually have a Karen scheduled right now. I actually had to use her name to get in here because you're quite busy. I don't normally take a patient to surgery without right. having a consultation, but you're trying to have your Euclid removed? I believe the correct pronunciation is Euclid, and uh, it's for my fiance. He should be here at any moment. He needs it removed. We're getting married next week, so as you can see, I'm a, I'm a little bit stressed out. I'll tell you what I can do. Um, I'll check my schedule. We'll see if I have an appointment in the next few minutes, and we can at least consider a surgery or talk about it at that time. Great. Okay. Great. I'll be right back. Thank you. The patient was using a medical term and pronouncing it incorrectly, which is often the case. She's calling something a Euclid. I know it as a uselid or a useless eyelid. It's a membrane that rests right behind the eyelid itself. Uh, it's attached to the occipital bone with the ligament. We see it in a lot of reptilian development, especially when they're striking prey. Uh, sharks have it, and uh, it can be removed, but a Euclid is, is something that doesn't exist. Honey? Where the fuck are you? I'm very far away from there. Where the fuck are you? Uh, I'm not near the office. You're not near here? We'll get near here. Honey? Uh, I'm not coming. You're not coming? Uh, I have a, a doctor waiting for you to remove this growth. Well, that's the thing. I'm not getting it removed. You need to have that fucking thing removed. Because I am not taking wedding pictures with you with a fucking growth. Well, that's the thing. I'm keeping it. Oh, you're keeping it? Like it's your little friend? Where are you? I'm in the town of Euclid with my friends. With your friends? Yes, are you okay? I'm having a moment! I think you know what I'm gonna say. What the fuck is your problem? Get the fuck over here and get it removed. Look, I'm a good person, you're a good person, but we both know this isn't gonna work. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm never gonna be what you want me to be. It's over. What? I'm sorry, honey, but we're not getting married. Do you know how lucky you are to be with me? Do you know how lucky you are? Get are the you... fuck out of my face! I'm never gonna be what you want me to be, okay? Everybody's been laughing at me because I'm gonna marry you, you fucking pussy! You're a fucking pussy! Fuck you! I hate you! Okay, can we still be friends? No, we cannot be friends! I don't want to be friends with a fucking loser with a fucking growth! Fuck you! Go fuck yourself! I just broke up with Teresa, and I am so happy. That relationship was so wrong. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. I'm ready. Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm fine. All right, can I get you a sedative or something like that? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, um, why don't you wait right here, and I'll be back in just a minute. Are you single? Um, I guess technically you're not a patient. Right. <laughs> I am moving on. I have met a cute doctor, and I am going to get married and be happy and pretty, and you are going to be the elephant man with your fucking Euclid. Woo. Thank you. And welcome to the 120th annual Euclid Founders Day. Yeah. Yeah. As our forefathers knew before us, a lot of us come from a place of shame. On this day, I want you to remember that each and every one of you is a divine and magnificent being. Each one of us is special. Say I'm special. I'm special. Say I'm special. I'm special. You. I'm special. Yes, you are. You're special. I want you to start the day by saying out loud, it's good to be me. Go on. It's, it's good to be me. me! One more time, everybody! It's, it's good, good to be me. me! And let's jump up and down this time! It's, it's good, good to be me! me. Alright, have fun! What this is all about and what this day is all about is taking that 
part in your mind and switching it over and saying, I refuse to accept what they say is real and I embrace what is true. What is truth? And what is truth is that we are complete. Well, I won't let her in. I won't let her in. She won't get access to under my skin when I'm better, when I'm tall. I'm gonna rise above it all. Do, 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 do. Everybody has been so friendly today. I just feel like a new person. I feel like this burden's been lifted and. God, I'm just so glad I decided to stay. <laughs> there he is. Oh, how you doing? Good, 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 good. Old friend. I'm Mayor Ken Polk. I just want to take a moment and welcome you all here and thank you so much for celebrating with us today. Haven't we had fun? Woo! Huh? We yeah. yeah. have. Let me introduce to you my better half, the lady I like to call my little cougar. Please welcome my wife, Betty. So we have a very special gift for you right now. Please welcome Dr. Sherman Jacobs. Hello, fellow Yukis. <laughs> hey, folks. Well, first of all, I want to tell you I'm very excited to be here. And I'm very excited about some news I'd like to share with you. I've just come from a meeting of the American Board of Euclidiatrists, or ABE. And what we've discovered is that, contrary to what we had thought, uh, your Euclid is not caused by a chromosome in the brain. No, that's right. What they found out is that once you become all that you can be, you literally become more. How about that? <laughs> Enjoy Founders Day. Let's keep it going. I am having the time of my life. The people here are amazing. I just feel at home here. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Max! There you Bernie, are. Bernie, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> That's what I'm fucking doing here, man. <laughs> Look at you, you did it, man. <laughs> did, it. did you did you show the guys? Yeah, I showed the guys. Guess what Todd did? Oh, he fainted. Ah, <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> hey, Max, um, you remember that party you went to where all those people, you know what I mean, took yeah, off their... Yeah, yeah. Are the girls from the nude girls here? I don't know. I didn't see them. I'm going to find them. Yeah, you better go look for I'll talk to you later. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Something new's growing out of you. Thought hey. it it's hey. Oh, that's so great! <laughs> this is this is Chad. He's my boyfriend. Can I call you my boyfriend? Yeah, I know you've been far from These past four hours have been incredible. I think I'm in love. <laughs> Uh, she, she was an am uh, amazing uh, best friend. You're my best friend now. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> you, you just moved up. You look in your heart. You love that Euclid part of you. Keep thinking that you'll cut it loose. So confused, you just want it to end. But then again, over time, it's grown so close to you. Feels like you. Cutting off your best friend But when you look in your heart You got a brand Hi. new start And you I'm Max. love that you play part of you I love it too Cuckoo could you Cover it up, you'll get the flu Your 
Well, uh, I was having a really tough week at that time and uh, decided to go to the Founders Day Festival. I met Hollis and uh, everything fell into place. You know, once I decided to embrace my gift, uh, it just, everything got better. We got married <laughs> and uh, we got Gracie now and just, it, it's just been amazing ever since. I would just say anybody who's considering getting surgery or getting rid of it, don't do that to yourself. It's not fair. You're, you're, you're gonna lose a part of yourself. You know, I, if I had done that to myself, my, I would never be where I am today. I would never have all this. And you just, you have to trust yourself, you have to accept it, and just know that, that good things will come. Would you say the same thing? <laughs> Our life is absolutely amazing. I just could never imagine my life being so wonderful. Come back to bed When you sleep You float above my head When you dream a certain thing Divulge a pair of wings Let them fold and bear you up on breath Last week while you were sleeping, I heard you speak Like you were pleading to invoke Names I don't recognize Coward ghosts that only come to get you When you close your eyes a year Baby, come back to bed When are you A Euclid? <laughs> no, I can't. What is a Euclid? <laughs> Do you know what a Euclid is? No. You know? <laughs> uh, that's a lid for a ukulele. Euclid. Isn't that, a, isn't that that female body part? Uh, it's a wrestling move. It's uh, There's the half Euclid and the uh, full Euclid. I, I thought it was some ancient Greek philosopher. Am I right? The posture that they have debutantes in finishing school assume. Which... Ah, it's una cerveza muy rica en Guatemala. Yeah, he's that he's that new rapper from Atlanta. Is it that famous surfer guy? I have no idea. I believe it's a geometric equation. Want to know what it really is? Kiss you, you just 
It does dress your head.